Welcome back to Craft of Crumb's Tech Talks. I'm your host, Joni Spencer, Editor-in-Chief of Craft of Crumb. In this episode, sponsored by Rademacher USA, I am chatting with Nick Magistrelli, VP of Sales, about Rademacher's Radini dough processing technology. Nick, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm here at our new uh, facility in Elk Grove Village and uh, super excited to be spending time with you today, Joni. Well, I am excited to talk about Radini. This technology is is pretty groundbreaking. So first, I just want to get an overview of Radini technology. This is equipment technology that is great for automating the production of artisan baked goods. What type of baker is it best for? We have built a reputation at Rademacher over the years of supplying sheeting lines and makeup tables to the industrial side of the market. Uh, through some market research, we found that there was a need for this mid-level sheeting line and makeup table equipment solution. So we designed the Radini platform, if you will, and it's really based off the core competency of Rademacher. It's sheeting lines and makeup tables just built at a scale that we feel is suitable for something just past, like a startup company uh, that's looking for some more automation. And we want it to be more of that vertically aligned company where you can not just buy from that industrial scale, but something below that. So we, we found through that research that there is a marketplace for it. So in the last several years, we've, we've really had a ton of success here in North America and certainly globally. And as we sort of find out more about this niche, we realized that there's really even more growth than we originally anticipated. So if I'm understanding you correctly, this is perfect for bakers who may already have some level of automation. This isn't for a baker that says, okay, I'm in my, you know, my little back of the shop and I'm hand making these artisan breads or these artisan pastries and I'm ready to grow. I'm going to look at a Radini. That's not really what we're talking about here, right? We're talking about mid-level bakers who have already started to grow. They're automating in other areas and this is sort of their next stage of growth. Is, is that what you're saying? When we came up with the platform itself, you know, you you sort of cast a big net as a company and you don't want to leave anybody off the possibility list, right? But then when we right. actually went out there and started trying to move the product, we found that what you just said is really true. For the boaters out there, the buoys have kind of uh, closed in a little bit and we feel that uh, it's not a startup. But, you know, if you have mixing already and you have some rack proofers and some ovens, and then next thing you know, all you need is that Rademacher Radini line to make anything that you're, you know, producing. So from Rademacher's perspective, we wanted to have an offering in there so we can grow with our clients rather than just them coming to us when they're at that industrial level. When a baker is at this level where they're ready to just kind of take the next step into automation, what can they expect? from a Radini line in terms of some of the key benefits or some of the components that it comes with from a technology perspective. We made the platform real simple to operate. The maintenance end of the line is very simple. And quite honestly, we figured when we targeted into this space, you know, you really wanted to create as much as you can, a standardized solution. One of the things that we're finding as a company is that our clients more than ever need us to provide them with not only simple and standard solutions to make their high quality goods, but we also need to partner with them in terms of uh, dough technologists that can go out into the field and work with them. And at the same time, being able to have service techs and our engineers also into the field and work with them. And you really find that a lot of these folks in this space, very entrepreneurial, they're really sort of focused on their business, right? Focused on getting, you know, essentially product out the door and, and working on that back end with their consumers and their clients and all that. So on the front end, they want a reliable equipment solution that's in their bakery that the operators can run, that the maintenance people can fix, and when the sanitation people have their turn with the equipment, they can clean it in a very you know fast, efficient manner. And everybody in the bakery right now, you see that's very happy with this solution that we've put into their bakery because you know we check all that boxes for them. You mentioned user friendliness, so I feel like that is something these mid-level 
artisan bakers are really needing because they're either having high turnover or they're wearing like six or seven different hats. What are some of the business benefits and the user friendliness for this equipment? We have a long history of working in the bakeries that the equipment uh, arrives in when we make, a, you know, when a transaction occurs with our clients in Rademacher. And one of the things that every time a new piece of equipment arrives at a bakery, something culturally has to change and has to adapt to the arrival of new equipment. So uh, a lot of times we get out in front of that. So we'll encourage the folks at the plant level, operator level, maintenance level, sanitation level, and of course, you know, any owner or executives that want to make a trip over to our parent company in the Netherlands and be able to do some pre-training before the equipment ships or, or at that factory acceptance test when they come over there and they interact with that as well. So when you see when that equipment arrives into their factory, we want that to have a little bit of a comfort level with it that they didn't have if they didn't go overseas or if they didn't spend some time with us. In the spirit of that, the, the goal right there is so that when the equipment arrives, they're feeling uh, more of like an owner of the line rather than something, you know, is uh, going to scare them when it arrives arrives their facility, then that really sort of scales, right? So, you know, it's going to be a little scary when a Redini line hits their factory floor. And then when they hit that big wholesale account, and then, the, you know, the need is for something greater because, you know, the Redini has a certain capacity limit. So if you get in that wholesale account and you bring in some new automation, and then the same thing occurs, Joni. So you really have to work in uh, closely and we have to be, you know, really partners with our clients for them to be able to be ready for the arrival of new and exciting equipment. So what advice could you give bakers who are growing into automation? What do they need to consider in terms of space and footprint for a line like Rodini? Space is always at a premium and, you know, trying to be able to be more efficient inside your bakery when you're just growing outside that. It's like, how do I get into an expanded area or how do I get into a new building? That I would say in general that you need to work very closely with our uh, experienced group of, of drawing office members that work in the Netherlands and over here in the United States as well. And we can get creative. We can work with the right configuration to fit it into some sort of unique spots. But at the end of the day, you still really want to, when you get even at the Redini level of automation, you want to make sure that in that plant, you've got a lot of thought that's put into creating a working environment, an acceptable working environment for everybody. So is there a forklift dial? Is there an ingredient path? Is there an operator path? Is there a walkway? You know, where's the, the washroom? All that stuff you want to take into account when you put a Redini in there. And, you know, the beautiful part about it is it's always on paper before it hits the plant floor. So you're going to have, you know, our drawing office will put that into your AutoCAD or your PDF drawing of your layout and your plan, and you'll see where it sits in there. And then you really want to work closely with our group, and we have an experienced group in our systems integration division even that you could tap into as well that, you know, is built on folks that, you know, built bakeries for the last 40 years. We go into like a deep dive into what would be the best way to operate it and what would be the best way to lay it out so that way I'm running the most efficient bakery, not for today, but also for the growth. Absolutely. And I've really seen you all mature in that area, especially in the United States. And I think one highlight of that maturity is your facility there in Chicago, the Experience Center. And so if I understand correctly, bakers can come visit the Experience Center and have those conversations and see Radini firsthand and really have this ability to experience what's possible for, for their bakery operation. Is that true? Yes. We're very excited about our new facility. We leased uh, something close to 50,000 square feet in Elk Grove Village. The, the, the grand opening was in June. And really that COVID pandemic that the world went through. And during that period, our company in general, but Rademacher USA, realized that we needed to be more independent than we've ever been from the parent company in the Netherlands. And, and what do I mean by that is our customers in North America needed us to be as present and more present 
for their future growth needs. And really, as we look forward to the future, we want to be more of a business partner. We want to sort of sit at the same table with them when they talk about today's needs, tomorrow's needs. But ultimately, they can tap into our DOE technologists now. They can tap into our service engineers that are local. We've got parts that are already in Hudson, Ohio. And now they're going to be here in Chicago. So we really want to be more present and more available more than ever. And really, I think that's going to be uh, for the folks that have done business with us for a long time. They're going to be grateful for that. But also that new Redini client that might not have that internal staff in their bakery. And they'll have now a partner to lean on a little bit as they make that jump into automation with us. I love that. I love that. So I just have one last question for you, and hopefully it's an easy one. How can a baker get in touch and maybe set up a visit to the Rademacher Experience Center there in Chicago? Very easily. Uh, there's a number of ways to do it. The best way to reach us is through email and phone call and you know maybe a journey to the website and you find us through there. But at the end of the day, we've got two dedicated technology rooms here in Chicago that has a donut line in it and has a three-section laminator to make pastries and croissants. But we are open for business here in Chicago and we are actively booking up you know, the schedule with the dough technologists on these lines. Customers are sending their flour and their other ingredients here. We are very excited about seeing the potential clients out there and here in our factory. Well, Nick, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me about Rademacher and Radini and what you have to offer mid-sized bakers. I think it's so exciting. And I just, I appreciate everything you're doing to help the industry grow. Thank you, Joni. Myself and all of Rademacher is very appreciative of you and Craft a Crumb. We think you guys equally have something special and unique the industry needs. I think with the creative minds that you have at, uh, at your company, uh, we're all benefiting from that. So thank you very much, Joni. Oh, thank you so much, Nick. It is always a pleasure talking to you. Mutual. Thank you, Joni.